After 20 or 30 years of running your business, you might be tired and worn out. You've had enough. The problem is that it feels like there are fires to put out at every turn, no matter what time of the day they happen to occur, meaning that the same problems come back over and over again without a break in between them at all. When I ask you how long you want this scenario to last, you look at me with a question. If your answer is yesterday, then know that our discussion will revolve around the term operational irrelevance, what it means and how you can get to that point in your business. And that's what this video is all about. We're going to talk about how you can avoid or get rid of burnout that you may be facing in your business. So here's the problem. You've been doing the same thing over and over again. This makes you feel bored and tired. You would like to find a way to rekindle the excitement you had when you first started your business and you're not sure what to do. The only answer you can come up with is to find someone else to take over the mess you have on your hands. You think this will solve your problem. You know, I've seen this type of frustration from business owners like you on a regular basis. It's a challenge that's way more common than you might think. And the good news is we have a solution for this, and it's much simpler than you might think. For you to learn to love your business again, you need to leave the day-to-day -day operations to someone else. It's time for you to work strategically on your business and learn how to delegate effectively to others in your company. Here's a simple process that will help take your pain away. Number one, Start with realizing that the reason you don't love your business is burnout. You are just sick and tired of being sick and tired with the same problems coming back to you day after day after day. You may think you're the only person that can solve them, but I can promise you that's not true. Number two, understand that the way you get out of your dilemma is by learning how to delegate effectively. And there's two things you need to learn when you're going to uh, delegate effectively. Number one, you have to become a culture of mistakes. Not that you want to make mistakes, but just an understanding that mistakes are going to happen. They're going to happen from you, and they're going to happen from the people you delegate to. And there's a question you have to ask every time a mistake comes about. And that question is, what did you learn? If you can ask what did you learn and you can learn to tolerate mistakes, you will become a better delegator. But there's a second piece that you need also, and that second piece is trust. If you don't learn how to trust your people, they are never going to learn how to trust you. So when you become an effective delegator, trust will go up and mistakes will be tolerated and learned from. That's step number two. And step number three is you actually have to practice delegating. Nobody's good at it out of the box. It's the most difficult skill to learn and the one that will have the highest value for you both personally and economically. You've probably heard people say, if you want to be successful, delegate. We know that sounds like a lot of work and it can feel really scary at first. But if you put in the time up front to learn how to effectively delegate tasks, your business will run more smoothly with less stress on you as an owner or leader. When this happens, not only are things running better than before, but they also tend to improve over time because there is now someone else who knows what's going on and has ownership for certain areas and responsibility of your business. They may become just as invested in their own success and just as invested in your success as you are. How does that sound? I would love to have a conversation with you about why you're burned out. So please contact me at jpatrick at stage2planning.com to set up a time to talk. In the meantime, if you're not ready to talk, download our free ebook on hiring relationships and roles in your business. You'll learn about the four roles business owners play and why you need to move from being a player to the business owner that you deserve to be. And while you're at it, Scroll down, let me know what you think about becoming operationally irrelevant in your business. Hey, this is Josh Patrick. You're at The Sustainable Business. Thanks a lot for stopping by. I hope to see you back here really soon.